Today we're going to be focusing on the satin stitch, which is an embroidery stitch that you will most likely use on things like stuffed animals uh, for their faces. You might use it um, if you're doing some decorative uh, stitching on clothing. Uh, first thing you're going to do is using a piece of felt, and that's a little felt like you use for your stuffed animals. Uh, you're going to cut out a little square and then draw what I'm just calling an upside down triangle. This kind of mimics a nose on a stuffed animal. Uh, you're going to be doing some stuffed animals shortly. Um, so that's a good way to practice. You're going to need your embroidery thread. Okay, this is probably five strands. I think I used one. You're gonna need a needle and of course, uh, something to cut your fabric with and your thread with. So just a reminder, when we use the embroidery thread, you're going to separate your strands and you're going to just take out for this one, just one strand of embroidery thread. Okay, so there's the rest of my strands. Put those out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and thread my needle. Okay, once you've your needle threaded, and we thread it just like we thread it for any other uh, project. Um, got my knot at the bottom. So I drew my little upside down triangle and what I'm going to do is come up over that top line and I'm simply going to go across. It's going to be like basically one big running stitch. Really big running stitch there. Okay, and then I'm going to come back to where I started. Okay, and I'm going to go right up alongside that. Okay, so now I've got two stitches. Basically, you're going to just follow your little outline and go across. And these stitches will eventually get smaller as you get to the tip of that. So again, I'm going right up and I'm on my line. And I'm going to go over to my other line. Okay. So as you can see, this will gradually taper down into your upside down triangle. Uh, I find it easier just to begin at the bigger end. Just keep going. So you're just going to keep going with this till you get to the very end point. If you run out of thread, of course, you'll have to knot off <coughs> and re-thread. Okay, I'm at the very end of my triangle. I'm on my last stitch. Come up. I barely have any thread left. My very last little stitch. Okay, as you can see, it eventually got smaller. I just kept following inside the lines of my um, triangle. Okay, once you get to the end, you can see how, why it might be called the stat, satin stitch. It's kind of satin looking. Okay, so it looks kind of like a little nose of an animal, cat, dog, what have you. Then you're going to knot off just like you would on the back side. And I go through a few of those threads and create my loop. Barely had enough thread to do that. And just snip it off. And there I have my little triangle. Okay, if you want to use a satin stitch on a on a circle, okay, so if I was pretending these are the little eyes, you actually wouldn't start at the top. You would want to start in the middle of the eye, like right here. So I'm going to come up from the back side. I chose black this time because it uh, just made sense for like little eyes. Come up and you're going to start going across right in the center of that eye with your satin stitch. Okay, at this point you can choose either to work up the eye or down the eye. I'm going to work up the eye. So you're going to just follow your outline. Okay, now I did use a water erasable marker on this. So if I'm not quite exact, I can go back and erase it. Okay, you can kind of see I didn't get exactly right beside that stitch. Uh, I can go back and add a 
stitch in between those two if I wanted to. So I think I am going to do that because I don't want the white to show. So see, I'm going right in between those two stitches I just made because uh, it wasn't exactly like I wanted it. Okay, now I filled it in. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going. So I'm going up the next little area and right beside that last stitch. So eventually this is going to get smaller and smaller. Okay, now circles are a little more difficult. Um, they might not look as round. Uh, one thing you can, way you can round this off is to outline it in a back stitch after you're done. So when I come back, I will show you what I mean by that. Okay, so I'm gonna continue on doing the top part of this round, and then I will uh, knot off, clip, and come back and do the bottom part of this eye. Okay, so I've done the top part of that, so now I'm going to simply come down and do the bottom part of this eye, doing the exact same thing I did with the top part. Okay, so there's the top part. So you can see it's not exactly round. It's not as round as I would like it, personally. Um, it is kind of harder to get into the rounding of this kind of a stitch. Okay, so I'm going to continue and go down at this point. Okay, uh, just like how I went up. Okay, so you can see I kind of finished that off. It's not totally round, so what I might do, I do still have some black thread left here, is do an outlining stitch of a back stitch. Okay, so this is a stitch you've already learned. So I'm just going to outline this. And you could have also done this before you did your satin stitch. Okay, some people do it that way. So I'm just going around it, doing the back stitch, and that'll give it a more definitive shape than is if you had just done um, just the satin stitch. Okay, so remember the back stitch is you come up and you go back to meet that stitch. Okay, you come up, go back to meet that stitch. So you can see it's kind of giving it a little bit more definition as far as the roundness goes. Okay, so I'm going to keep going around in this manner. Okay, because you could totally choose to um, embroider an entire face on something this way. If I had done this little nose and orange, this is, this is starting to look like a snowman to me. So maybe I'll make some snowmen for fun. Okay, so you can see it's defining that circle a little bit better when I'm doing this back stitch. Okay, so just a couple more stitches and I will have this completely done. Okay, I will go back and probably do this other eye over here and show you the finished product. So see, it's got a little bit more roundness now. And of course, then you'll knot off as you normally do. Okay, so here's my finished eyes. I did backstitch around both of them, uh, just to give a little bit more definition. Um, if I wanted to do like a little, do some whiskers, I would, I could either choose to do a satin stitch whisker, just some really big stitches out that way. I could even do them just small stitches. Uh, same with the mouth, I might backstitch the mouth. Okay, so that is the satin stitch, and then the satin stitch combined with the backstitch.